The Roiner are an ancient people in the lore of Game of Thrones, and many people may not know exactly who they are and where they came from. There are a few groups of people with unique and somewhat ancient backgrounds, and one of the oldest in the world of Game of Thrones is the Roiner. Something that might surprise many Game of Thrones fans is that, for a long time, the Roiner were a peaceful riverside-dwelling people. They didn't actually hail from Westeros originally either. Instead, they originally called the continent of Essos their home, though that wouldn't last forever. As anyone familiar with the series will know, good things do not last long in the world of Game of Thrones. When compared to other groups of people during the time of the Roiner, they can be said to have been fairly advanced people, something that likely helped them live in peace through rumor deals to teach other people various skills. The Roiner were a successful civilization as well. Rather than simply subsisting, the people were thriving and crafting numerous large cities with blooming religions. The Roiner's level of advancement also led to a relatively equal society between men and women. Despite there being some level of political turmoil among cities, it's likely that the equality present was enough to keep any one ruler from making too rash of a decision. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. It's the background information of the Roiner that makes it clear why they would eventually meet a rather sad fate. That sad fate that the Roiner ended up meeting was at the hands of the Valyrians, specifically the Valyrian Freehold. Being such advanced and accepting people, the Roiner had no issue with other people settling in nearby lands. However, that would prove to be their downfall, and they would soon be locked in a war with the Valyrians. This era was known for the Roinish Wars, but those wars soon came to a brutal end once the Valyrians brought dragons into the mix. Despite a strong pushback against the Valyrians, a massive fleet of dragons would wipe out much of the Roiner, leaving Princess Nymeria to lead her people in retreat. Sadly, it was this retreat that forever pushed the Roiner out of their lands and forced them to find a new place to call home. Without being able to say a proper goodbye to their homes and all the people they lost to the Valyrians, the Roiner set out onto the sea in a fleet of massive ships with the hopes of something better on the other side of the sea. While there may have been plenty of lands willing to welcome a group of people as skilled and advanced as the Roiner, they eventually ended up in a land every Game of Thrones fan should know, Dorne. While the Roiner were a much smaller group of people than they were before, Princess Nymeria was able to make a tactical move to marry into the Martell family. From there, Nymeria and her new husband Mors Martell would be able to take full control over the relatively fractured land of Dorne. While the Roiner people likely didn't lead the greatest life when compared to what they had before the Valyrian invasion, they did get to live on. The unfortunate part of the Roiner moving into Dorne is that the culture did essentially die out and become much more diluted by people of other cultures. As the years went on, the Roiner more or less disappeared as a culture. The true Roiner may not exist, but there are other groups that are closely associated with them, chiefly, the Dornishmen and the Greenblood. The Dornishmen are a mixture of various cultures and people, though the Roiner descent is said to be the strongest closest to water, while the Greenblood are the truly closest group due to more selectivity among their people. Due to the nature of how much the Roiner spread out across Dorne upon their arrival, it's actually possible that many or even all the major families of the land are in some capacity descended from Roinish blood. The most blatant families that descend from the Roiner are the House Martel and the House Dane. This lineage means that the fan favorite, though short lived, character of Oberon Martel is a descendant of the proud and advanced Roiner people. Putting that character from the show in the context of all the information on the Roiner makes it seem like Oberon was a true descendant thanks to his laid back attitude, proud nature, and way of seeing everyone as equals. The sad thing is that, thanks to House of the Dragon taking place only hundreds of years before Game of Thrones instead of thousands, there isn't any chance of getting to experience what the Roinish culture would have been like. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.